Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over Bitcoin and some of the cryptocurrency market. I'll uh, pop in a little bit of Quant, guys. I think Quant is uh, probably going to be doing a pretty good run, just to let you guys know a little bit. So um, I decided to take off. And uh, also to Caspa, I want to go over that and have a uh, 10 to 15x strategy with Caspa. But you're going to have to be patient and wait for the setup if you want to do that, something like that. Okay, guys? So, um, make this video today because there's quite a few people have questions and they just can't quite understand how Bitcoin can continue to go up. And the argument is the RSI is too high. And that seems reasonable at sometimes. Um, however, it can stay up for quite a while. And I don't think it's done. I do think that Bitcoin probably has more um, upside. So once Bitcoin started breaking through these nineteen thousand dollar levels and went like went up here, and then I just started seeing everything come together, I was like, forget the short short season is over with. And I know that there's probably people who are looking to put in shorts here, here, and this is going to come tumbling down. Um, I don't think so, guys. Um, they're probably going to be waiting for a long time, and they're going to probably be in the hole because I do think Bitcoin is going to go up to probably twenty two thousand or something like that. Okay, and um. The other reason is um, that's not a good strategy to do that short is because it's contract. It's a leverage play. Usually for most people, they're doing shorts and they could be stuck in that for quite some time, guys. It actually could be up here. The time up here is going to be um, a little bit longer than expected, like probably at least two weeks, maybe even three weeks or four weeks. It's going to be hanging out up in here before they finally start seeing it come down over here. So don't recommend doing any shorts right now. Um but if you take a look, let me go. I'll, I'll tell you it's shorts. So here is Gala. I give you an example on Gala. Some people are asking me about Gala. And they they started going into here on 0 0.049, this area right there where my finger is on the chart. You see that? The problem is with that is there's no divergence, guys. That's why I said don't do it. So somebody on my Twitter had asked me, is like, I'm going in right there, man. What am I doing wrong? I'm like, you're going in too early. That's what you're doing wrong. I wouldn't do it. Um, because you got to look for that divergence, guys. One of the first signals you have to look for is divergence. And you can see now that it's making some divergence after that massive pump. And I don't think all is done. I think you have a shot that Gala is probably going to go up to six cents and hit that trend just like this. I think that's uh, um, a lat, uh, right here. This is one, two. Um, let me see here. One, two maybe three, four, five, or something like that, guys. It's it's probably going to make its way up there, okay? And then this would be the area to do a short. Gala is actually setting up really, really nice to do a short, but you're going to have to be patient. It looks like it could take another two or three or four weeks, maybe even longer than that. And uh, Gala is going to be right inside here, right? Okay, um, it's just going to matter how this all plays out. What is it doing? You know, you just have to watch it, okay? But this is what I would watch for with Gala is like just like this, and then it comes maybe touches again back down and maybe another little touch. And now you, you have that trend right there, okay? You want to check it on log and off log too, just like that. Check it both ways, okay? I just have it on logarithmic right now so you can see the whole wave. And then going up just like just like that, guys. And uh, that's like six cents up in those areas, all right? If it does come up and uh, have that trade set up for you, okay? So Gala, Gala's still too early, guys. Gala's going to hang out up there for quite some, a uh, lot more time. And the same thing, let me go over to, uh, back over to Bitcoin and uh, show you guys some things, is that um, here's with Bitcoin, guys. As you can see, here's its peak right there on the four hour, right? There's this peak. It came back down that triangle, went back up. And then if you see in the correction, okay, here's it. Here's the correction. In this triangle and down, and it hasn't. You see how low that is right there, and you see that. You see how that goes up, and you see how that's going down. Okay, so up in this area, you actually have bullish divergence into this fourth wave. The momentum is so strong in this wave. This is a massive wave, guys. It's so strong it was going into a correction that the momentum is uh, giving you a signal that it's going to continue to go up more than likely, guys. In my opinion. Um, even if it doesn't go up that high, it's still going to be up here for a while. I don't see, I don't see, I don't see a dump coming on for Bitcoin for a while, guys. And then the other thing is too, you have to consider is what what part of the sequence is this? Okay, 
So we got a, a triangle, which is continuation pattern, okay? Also known as a fourth wave correction with Elliott waves, if you like to use Elliott waves. But so now we have some type of fourth wave, okay? So let's just assume that this fourth wave is going to go with this second wave right here, okay? So you have one, two, three, four, five. Let's just assume that for, for the time being, okay? So one, two, like so. That that whole thing is the third wave, even though you got more in there, okay? I'm just an example, three, four, and let's say it does that. Okay, well, now now you still have this back behind it. You you start to realize that you possibly have this behind it. You got one, two, and then maybe that's the three, and now it's going to be going into a four, five, like like so. So you see how Bitcoin see Bitcoin could be up there for a long while. Okay, it's not a good short entry. Okay, um, sometimes the mistakes happen. Don't get me wrong; people make mistakes with trading. It happens all the time. And they always enter, I see a lot of them on, on Twitter, they enter into a third wave. A third wave is not a good place to be entering because it, it's plainly see down here in the RSI, okay? And enter into it, you got your wave one, it's going up into this third wave, just like Bitcoin over there, right? And they enter in, it, they go, oh, the RSI is so high. They're entering in and look, there's no divergence yet, just like right there. You see? No divergence. So you want to wait, wait for it to do this. Okay. Okay. Like that. Let me, let me uh, remove that. You want it, you want the, uh, you want it to do this, come back down and then the RSI is like that. And the price is higher like this. Okay. So here it is like there and it's higher. And then you have your divergence. Okay. So, um, I think a lot of people are going to get wrecked, uh, not wrecked, but I don't want to say that. I, I don't want to see people get wrecked, man, but you know, it's trading and it's just, it's, it's part of the game. You know, it happened, it's happened to me before, you know, I've been blasted in shorts and in longs before. And if you've been trading and you, ha that hasn't happened to you, then you haven't, you have, you got to get those, like, uh, what do you call battle scars, right? And just really, really just like get destroyed by trying to do trades. Um, but you know, they're just, they're entering in too soon. They're just entering in too soon guys, in my opinion anymore this is too bullish everything's too bullish everything's going up like not everything but like you see some of these uh other coins over here you know they're not they're not done um with their correction they're they're all like they're just kind of just hanging out in that area some are pumping some are not pumping but they're they're looking like they're just doing a little minor correction and they want to go back up again okay so I would be careful right now, guys, going short. I would just, uh, you know, it's going to be more long, in, in my opinion, okay? So I want to go over CASPA and give you guys a little update on this coin right here, okay? Because a lot of people, quite a few people are interested in this coin, okay? So here's the thing. I'm looking at CASPA, and it's looking pretty decent. Now, is this a three? This could be an ABC move. So you got a one, two, three, four, five, more than likely, and it's a three-way move. So CASPA is going to come back down over in this in, in this direction, okay? So I'm I'm still looking for something like this with Casper guys, you know, which is not a big deal. You have to have a little bit more patient, and it's going to swing down an A up into a B, back down into a C. I could be wrong about that. That's why you have to have a strategy, guys, and put that back. That's why you have to have a strategy just in case something just starts moonshotting and taking off out of you. So I go, okay, well I'm going to get a little bit right here, a little bit right here, maybe a little bit right here, just in case this thing, you know, I messed up and this thing just decides to go boom like that. So. That's what I'm, I'm expecting the worst case scenario. So I'm prepared. I see this. I'm prepared for that to get out of there. Now, what's the reason for me to decide to go in this one? The, te the, uh, the technicals are really, really good with CASPA. The fundamentals are okay. Um, there is some issues with the, uh, the CASPA coin. Um, the other advantage too, that I see it, CASPA coin is fresh. It's fresh. There's no, um, you know, like, it's not like getting an EOS that's, um, by the way, EOS, I told you guys pay attention to that coin. I think it's going to do a pretty good shot here this year in 2023, whether that thing's going into a corrective way. But anyhow, I digress. Let me go back to Caspa here. It's a fresh coin. It went down. It's already proven to you. It can go bullish, and then it'll go in this area, okay, this area for Caspa. And my target for Caspa is going to be about $0.02. Cents, uh, I think it's point, what is it, 0 0.02? Point, for 2023, for 2023, when it will do it, I have no idea. I'm going to take a look. Let's say it gets to the bottom of that. I may get a conservative, okay? So right now I'm looking at 0 0.038 and then maybe as high as 0 0.05. Okay, let me take it off log and get a double double check on that. And then uh, get some more 0 0.0158. Uh, so these areas too, guys. Um, more than likely, though, it's going to hit logarithmic numbers. I would guess 0 0.272, something like that. 
put it back on log. What are those numbers looking like? Okay. Yeah. So somewhere in this, this range, I mean, it's hard to tell what, what kind of move that's going to be, but you know, somewhere. So let's say it's down here. You're looking at, if it just does that run right there, you're looking at five X guys. And then, you know, it start hitting those numbers up there. You start looking at some pretty massive gains. You know, you start working on 20 X, which is definitely possible um, for a coin like this, guys. If you're picking it up in this area and running that up there, you know, here 5X, and then it just gets higher from there. That's why I'm interested in Casper coin, guys. Just want to give you that heads up. And, uh, you know, you got to find the assets before you get into them, right? Like Casper right now. What was going on? Same thing. It's the same game. It's the same game on Twitter. When were they talking about Casper coin? When were they talking about Casper coin, guys? When it was like right here. They're like on Twitter, Casper, Casper, Casper. And what are they saying now? Nothing. And then Caspa, it's going to go over here, right? Caspa is going to go like right over here and then maybe up a little bit and it's going to come back down. And what are they doing right now? They're not saying a word. They're not saying a word, are they? And then back over here, you know, let's say it's like March or April or something like that. Caspa is on its run. Boom, boom, boom. And then they're back on Twitter. Caspa, Caspa, right? You see how the game works? If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace. Thank you.